we're going to use the periodic table because we want to talk about a very important element, which is carbon, one of the stars of modern chemistry, because it's present in almost every compound around us. Carbon itself is the principal protagonist of the, of the part of chemistry called organic chemistry. Carbon is located in group 4A of the periodic table of the elements. Carbon and organic chemistry are present in different kinds of materials, for example in rubbers, oils, plastics, and even in steel forming alloys with metals. In live organisms, carbon is part of the skin, hair, blood, carbohydrates, DNA, RNA, vitamins, and carbon dioxide. Carbon is also present in graphites and diamonds. Now we'll try to see how carbon creates compounds. We know that carbon has four electrons in its valence shell. These electrons are in orbitals, one electron in one orbital. The orbitals are around carbon, not forming 90 or 180 degrees among them, but 109.5 in all cases. To complete each orbital, we need one electron. That can be provided by, for a hydrogen, for example. If that is the case, one carbon will need four hydrogens, and the final molecule is methane. A better representation of methane is this. One carbon surrounded by four hydrogens at the same distance and same angle between them. When carbon wants to create a bigger molecule, it replaces one hydrogen for another carbon and complete the other bondings with other atoms as hydrogens or another carbon. For example, when in a molecule we have three carbons, then we'll need eight hydrogens. And in that case, the molecule is called propane. Thanks for watching.